Hi everyone! Uh, tonight I'm doing a book review of the final book in the Glamour Chronicles trilogy, Doctor Who, Game Time, by Trevor Baxendale. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, for the third book in the trilogy, it, it is very good. It Oddly enough, it reminded me of uh, Matt Smith's Doctor of, actually, especially the episode Cold War. Now, a lot of people would think if they read this book, it would remind them more of, say, the season 9 episode uh, Sleep No More. But no, the, the the vibe of this story and the the whole tone of the story remind me more me more of um, Cold War much more. Okay, the basic plot. Uh, you have a wealthy <laughs> a wealthy guy who who has a ship commissioned, and they're trying to track down. Uh, try not try down, but uh, do scientific research, and he he he, ha he, he uh, assembles this group of scientists and a bunch of other people, and uh, along comes the Doctor and Clara, and uh, they're. They're trying to figure out, okay, why are these people doing this? As well as trying to find the, la the last little bit of the um, of the glamour. And the, the, the guy responsible for the money and the project, he's a, oh, he's a bit of an ass. He reminded me way too much of the guy from... Not only the guy from a, uh, not just sleep no more, but from a, uh, uh, before the flood. Uh, not before the flood. Uh, uh, under the water. Or the the two season nine episodes where the doctor comes across an a, a thing similar to this, but it's an underground underwater base. He, the main character. Uh, let me look. Um. Not the main character. Uh, uh, where is it? Let's see. Um, the main, not main character, but the big guy in charge of the what do you, of the funding for this mission and all that stuff. What is his name? Give me one second. Uh, Belfour. And he he just came up with such such arrogance and such ah uh, uh, just such, such an arrogant jackass. I'll say it if he was an arrogant jackass. He he thought he could just throw money at any problem and it would go away. But it kind of like cost him some of his crew and it just cost him his confidence to find out he couldn't do that. And um I I found that like yeah with his character there there was just too much arrogance and too much like, hey I got a billion dollars, I'll just throw money at this problem. And it, it just didn't work that way. And um yeah, the, this book for me remind me of like so many different episodes of Doctor Who. Actually, those the two I mentioned was because of the arrogance of the leader at the time of the of the said mission. And it's like really you have to deal with this again. And um, I found like the Doctor showed some compassion to to this one other character who uh, oddly enough reminded me of uh, a character in like the episode Bad Wolf 
because this particular character uh, deals with uh, finding things in time and space and collecting data and different things like that. And I, there was, it was really weird. It was, the, the story was good. It's just, I kept getting distracted by how many things reminded me of it. Uh, the story reminded me of other stories. And I'm not sure if that was the point of doing this trilogy to remind you of other things, but it, it had all three books had that vibe for me. And as much as I enjoyed the books, I kept getting distracted with the thoughts that kept running through my head. Oh. And I felt it was it was good. Not to get distracted. I mean not good, but the stories were good. It's just they could have been done a little better or like I said earlier with the other two reviews, they could have been made into episodes. I think with these type of stories, especially with some of these stories, now I this is only the fourth book in Doctor in of the new Doctor Who books I've read. Um with these three type of stories they could have been better told visually rather than with this. That way you wouldn't get distracted so much like I did, reminding you of of um, <clears throat> of other stories that, that were on the series. Uh, and I just, uh, yeah, I actually, I mean, I enjoyed it. It did have its happy moments, like Doctor Who does at times. But yeah, uh, the main thing I, I found that it did remind me too much of other things I've either seen or read. Um, I'm not sure if that was the point or not. Probably not, but I I still liked it. I would still recommend it. Um, yeah, I would, I would recommend this trilogy. Um, but I probably would not recommend as a starter, unless you like are familiar with the Twelfth Doctor's stories from like the TV show. Um, if you're new to Who, maybe go with the actual TV show first and then get into these. Um, but I I would read this again. I just hope it might take might be a while before I do. Uh, um, and I think I actually would enjoy this even more if it was an audiobook. As well as a printed book, and I normally uh, don't listen to a lot of audiobooks any much. I mean, anymore. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, those are my thoughts on uh, Deep Time by Trevor. Sorry, Baxendale. Yeah, forgive me if I'm hashing like trashing the name out, but it is just the, the way it looks I think it's Baxingdale. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review, my thoughts on this book. Uh, please subscribe if you like more. And please comment if you actually do want more reviews. Thank you. Bye.